So in our last video, we defined what was meant by an orbit. And in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about stabilizers. But first, I'd like to mention something about notation. In this series, I'll be using the notation orb x to denote the orbit of x. But an equally valid notation is this. So x in angular brackets. And either is fine, uh, whichever you use is really just a matter of taste. So that's up to you. But in this video, I want to talk about stabilizers. So let's talk about stabilizers. Stabilizers. Okay, so we're going to use exactly the same setup as before. So let x be an element in the set x. So let x be an element in the set x. And I'm also going to let g be a group acting on x. So let g be a group acting on the set x. So acting on x. And this is exactly the same setup as we used for the orbits in the previous video. So what's my definition? Well, here it is. So I define the stabilizer, which I'll write as stab of x. And an equally valid notation is g subscript x. It really means the same thing, and whichever you choose is a matter of taste. Well, this is the set of all elements which keep x the same, or the set of all elements which fix x. So in other words, that's the set of all elements g in g, such that g x equals x. OK, now one element that you know for sure, which will stabilize x, is the identity element. You know, you apply the identity element to x, it does nothing, and you get x back. So what does this mean in the context of shapes and platonic solids? Does this have a physical meaning? Well, yes. Um, we could, for instance, picture a tetrahedron. So let's draw a tetrahedron. So let's imagine I've got a tetrahedron. So let's label this vertex 1, this one is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. And I want you to imagine that I'm placing the, the base of this tetrahedron flat on a table. So the triangle 2, 3, 4 um, is right on the surface of a table. And let's imagine that I want to fix the vertex 1. So to do this, what I'll do is I'll hold on to the vertex 1, and I'll basically just spin it along the table like this. So I'm going to spin it by angles of 120 degrees uh, in an anti-clockwise direction. It doesn't really matter which direction you do it, but let's just say the anti-clockwise direction. So I rotate it by 120 degrees, or 2 pi by 3 radians, uh, along this, along the surface of this table. And what I do is I end up permuting the vertices around. So I end up, uh, by doing this rotation, permuting 2 to 3, or rather 2 to 4, and then 2 to 3, or I could keep 2 where it is. So by doing this, by fixing 1, I keep 1 where it is and permute the other vertices. So if I were to write out the... Uh, stability subgroup of this group, what I'd end up with is that the size of the stability set has three elements, namely the three different configurations of this triangle. So in other words, the stabilizer of an element x, so if x were a vertex, then the size of the stabilizer is three, because as you saw, there are three different configurations uh, which these three vertices can have. So that's what I mean by the stabilizer. OK, so now that we've talked a little bit about orbits and stabilizers, I'd like to talk about, in the next video, the orbit stabilizer theorem. And this is something fundamental to classifying the symmetry groups of the platonic solids. So see you then.